Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're going to learn about the dodo, the iconic flightless bird that has come to represent extinction. The dodo was endemic to the island of Mauritius, east of Madagascar, and was discovered by Dutch sailors in 1598. Mauritius was uninhabited by humans at this time, and there were few predators on the island. Dodos were fearless of humans, and as they were flightless, they were easy pickings for the sailors who hunted them for food, although it is reported that the bird was tough and not very tasty. The Dutch also set up a colony on the island and introduced invasive species like dogs, cats, rats, pigs, and the crab-eating macaques, which all either plundered the dodo's nests or competed with them for the limited food resources. Humans were also destroying the habitat of the dodo. The last widely accepted dodo sighting was made by a shipwrecked Dutch mariner named Volkert Everest in 1662. Although later unconfirmed sightings have been reported, the dodo was certainly extinct by 1700, less than 100 years after the first encounter with humans. Even though the rareness of the dodo was reported already in the 17th century, its extinction was not recognised until the 19th century. This was partly because, for religious reasons, extinction was not believed possible until later proved so by Georges Gouvier, and partly because many scientists doubted that the dodo had even existed. It seemed altogether too strange a creature, and many believed it was a myth. The appearance of the dodo is not as well known as you might expect. It is depicted commonly as you see it here in my petting zoo, but as no complete specimens exist, its appearance is based on written reports and illustrations dated between 1598 and 1662, and many of these accounts were based on earlier accounts, and none were written by scientists. The common view of these birds as fat and clumsy may be inaccurate, as most of these descriptions were of overfed captive birds that have been taken off the island as curiosities. The dodo is thought to have eaten mainly fruit, but also pos probably nuts, seeds, bulbs and roots, and possibly also crabs and shellfish. The dodo used gastroliths to aid digestion. These are stones that are swallowed, which help grind up food in the stomach. As the dodo was flightless, and due to the lack of predators on Mauritius, the dodo probably nested on the ground. Here, in Ark Survival Evolved, the dodo lays eggs very frequently. But in reality, it is thought that the dodo only laid one egg and looked after the young until it matured. The dodo is one of the most famous examples of human-induced extinction, but it was not the only creature to have suffered at the hands of the Dutch sailors of the time. The Dutch had left Mauritius by 1710, but by this time the dodo and most of the large terrestrial vertebrates had become extinct. Before humans arrived, Mauritius was entirely covered in forests, but very little remains of them today, because of deforestation. The surviving endemic fauna is still seriously threatened. The dodo lived alongside other recently extinct Mauritian birds, such as the flightless red tail, the broad-billed parrot, uh, the mascarine grey parakeet, the Mauritius blue pigeon, the Mauritius owl, the mascarine coot, the Mauritian shell duck, the Mauritian duck, the Mauritian night heron. Extinct Mauritian reptiles include the saddle-backed Mauritius giant tortoise, the domed Mauritius giant tortoise, and the Mauritius giant skink, and the round island burrowing boa. That's a lot of extinctions. Some plants, such as the Caesarea tinfolia and the palm orchid, have also become extinct. In 1973, a tree endemic to Mauritius, known as the dodo tree, was thought to be dying out. Stanley Temple conducted an investigation. There were supposedly only 13 specimens left, all estimated to be about 300 years old, although they don't have growth rings, so it's uh, very difficult to tell how old these trees actually are. Stanley Temple hypothesised that it depended on the dodo for its propagation, and that its seeds would germinate only after passing through the bird's digestive tract. He claimed that the dodo tree was now nearly co-extinct because of the disappearance of the dodo. However, his research has been dismissed as flawed as he overlooked reports from the 1940s that found that the dodo tree seeds germinated, albeit very rarely, without having been abraded during digestion. Others have contested his hypothesis and suggested that the decline of the tree was exaggerated, or seeds were also distributed by other extinct animals such as tortoises, fruit bats or the broad-billed parrot. According to Wendy Strom and Anthony Cheek, two experts in the ecology of the uh, Musgreen Islands, uh, the tree, while rare, has germinated since the demise of the dodo and numbers several hundred, not thirteen, as claimed by Temple, hence discrediting Temple's view as to the dodo and the tree's sole survival relationship.
Well, I hope you've found this talk interesting. Thank you so much for listening. Any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.